guys, if you're tuning in the first time, welcome to Franchiser Life with Al Reed. Just landed down in Dominican Republic, y'all. Show sure exactly well the life that we're living now as a franchisor. Got the uh, let's see here. Let's take a look here. We're gonna carnival cruise line over there. So we're gonna take a quick walk around. We only gonna be ported here for about like a couple of hours. So I'm gonna do a little scroll around the pool area alone, show you some of the scenery as well too. So um take a long, let's go. Guys, I'm on my day, uh, day five, here on my little mini vacay while my team is back in uh, Pensacola holding down battery, guys. And uh, let's take a little stroll with me, guys, to show you exactly um, why you want to talk about getting into the recycling and reconditioning battery business. Let's take a look out here. Wow, that's beautiful out here, too. Wow, this is kind of cozy right here. You got your little um, huts out here in the water. Take a look at this guy. Look at the beautiful view, this beautiful um, view of this right here, look. Guys, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about when I was looking for, um, I've been in the entrepreneur game for about 25 years. And I mentioned before that I had a lot of failures, had a lot of 13 years, no, a lot of more. I mean, I had 13 businesses that failed. And a lot of those businesses was just basically home business, you know, opportunities, um, multi-level marketing opportunities. Guys, I spent 10 years wasted time in the multi-level marketing industry itself. Thought I was gonna get rich or make even six figures. Guys, I ain't even make five figures. That's a tough business to be in. Uh, but it helped me build my, um, my entrepreneur skills, my people skills, and my networking skills. See, one thing about being into the battery business is that you're gonna know how to network, network with your um, business owners to get these batteries. Business is all about building relationships. So if you're a good people's person and go in with some people skill and know how to talk to people, people give you their business. You know, and you just treat them right with a fair price, they're gonna treat you right and guarantee they're gonna give you the business and somebody else come and come in and try to take your business from you. And that's why, you know, right now we rule the panhandle. Guys, within a three hour radius, battery guys, we rule the whole area we in right now, guys. We got batteries sitting for us to go pick up. That's how we got batteries sitting out months out for us to pick up, guys. Guys, look at that view up there, look at this. Y'all got some beautiful footage of what we got here.
Okay. A little bit more about myself, guys. Uh, I'm a third generation of recycler. My grandmother got me started in the recycling business at the age of 10 years old. I started out with a can business. And from the can business, she came and visited me one summer. She showed me exactly how to recycle, how to recycle batteries. I mean, not batteries, but cans. <laughs> you see, I always got batteries on my mind. But it taught me a valuable lesson my grandmother did. Cause basically, you know, um, I grew up in the country and people always threw aluminum cans in the dirt road, trash cans or whatever and stuff. And my grandmother, she taught me a valuable lesson is that one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that is so true because where I grew up at, the, um, the dirt roads are just so many cans. It was just free cans of money just laying out there. So basically, uh, make a long story short, I end up recycling a whole shed of nothing but tons and tons of aluminum cans and it was free. And from that age, I fell in, fell in love with the recycling and uh, recycling business. And today I consider myself as one of the world's greatest recyclers. So right now we're at the pool area, just chilling, chilling right now. Taking this nice, beautiful, tropical weather in. <laughs> you see I got sweat pouring down my head right here. So I'm gonna go, go try to find Red and see where she's located at. I think she's over there getting like a tan and trying to get some, some water herself. So that's what we're doing right now. Guys, you probably can see the uh, car of a cruise line in the back back there. You know, Red, she mentioned herself that she has been in cruising for about 20 years now. And this is her 25th trip she done took. Myself, I think this is about my five or six trip I've been on or whatever. So she is a professional cruiser. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring y'all guys along with us as we escape and have some fun. And want y'all guys to have a lot of fun with us too. So that, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, folks, people. We're gonna have a lot of fun on this channel right here. So we're gonna show you it's all about just having fun, living life, positivity, the ups and downs of life. Ain't nothing perfect. But one thing you can do right now is live life. And that is what, that is what we're doing right now, is that we are living life. Sing tonight, not tonight, tomorrow. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. K. The best yeah. server the whole trip. All right, that's the one right there. Gotcha, thank you. Do a whole 360 on this one. 